Hello, and how's everyone doing today? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, if you're returning viewer, I'm glad to have you back. Look at that, a consistent follow three up upload um, two in one week. We haven't done that in quite a while. Um, in the last episode, we finally found our dad, and he wants to continue work on Project Purity. Sounds pretty interesting. Let's grab our drinks, let's grab our snacks, and let's get into this. Alright, so it looks like we're going back to Rivet City uh, to meet up with Dad. It's really nice to finally see him. Um, you know, we've been looking for him for quite a long time. And, uh, you know, we finally found him. Um, so we still can't get in here. I do want to take a quick look around here. Um, and see if we can get in. Alright, what's this? This is the power room, I think. Okay, um... Okay, so Dad's leaving. Yeah, that's normal. Okay, um... Two doors here. I don't know what this leads to. Oh, that just goes around. Okay, um... Equipment room. So it says this door, computer locked hard. Um... I don't usually do this, but I... Honestly, just want to use console commands to get in here, um, because I want to see if we can get, um, the overseer key. I can't remember if, uh, we can get in here or not. Uh, how do I do this? And boom, and that's how we do that. All right. So now the door is unlocked. Like I said, I usually don't, don't do this, um... Because if I really wanted to, I mean, I could just unlock every single door just by doing that without doing any... Oh, I'm kind of dumb. Uh, so I guess... Oops. I guess I'll just unlock the terminal by. Alright, let's try this again. Um... Yeah, okay. terminal is now unlocked. Let's go back to controller. Alrighty. And we just want to open the door. Alright, so let's see if there is a key in here for his um, door upstairs. Okay, what's this? Overseer room password, perfect. All right, ooh, machine gun. So there are some good things in here, obviously, as you can see, that's why the door is locked hard. Um, lots of stem packs and stuff. I don't know why my sensitivity is so high. Let's turn this down just a little bit. Um, there, a bit better, okay. I think that's everything. Okay. Um, now we can go up to the Overseer's uh, terminal. Or, yeah, Overseer's terminal to get into his room. Alrighty. Alright, so this is uh, the Overseer. The guy who we... Uh, talk to the one who is the child and all that so basically he's stuck in here forever now he can't uh, get out and he's stuck in there and yeah but if you watch the previous episode I don't feel bad for him because of all the stuff that he was doing to all the people so let's just lock unlock this here all right Alrighty, and once again, I won't be using console commands. Um, I don't want to say I won't be using them ever again, because just in case, you know, game crashes or freezes, or we get locked out or something, you never know, something may happen. Um, oh yeah, I forgot, Dad kind of waits for us. Um, 
you know, but I won't use it uh, constantly, of course, because, you know, it's not very fun to just unlock everything like that. Um, oh, so now I can change back to my Talon armor and that, and with am a baseball hat. And there we go, back to how we were. Alright. Alrighty. So we can follow Dad all the way back to River City if we really want to walk all the way back there. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to fast travel there. Because that would take a very, very long time. Okay. Okay, so we already grabbed everything, and what's this? Oh, well we can sell these cups. Okay, let's go. Oh boy, it's back dark again. Okay, so, again, if we really, really wanted to, we could uh, follow him. Like, if you know, follow him all the way back. And I've done that because I've done a no fast travel run where you have to walk everywhere without traveling. Um, that was actually a very fun run. Oh, that's really cool. I love seeing all the lights lit up and everything. Um, okay, let's wait till daytime. But yeah, um, that run of Fallout 3 was pretty fun. After I did that a couple of years back, just before Fallout 3 came out, or sorry, Fallout 4 came out, um, I remember I, actually that's the reason why I did it, um, just a little backstory before we continue, um, that's why I did that run, was because Fallout 4 was coming out, so I wanted to refresh my memory of Fallout, um, 3, because I know 3 and 4, I don't want to say they're connected, but they have connections between the two. I'm not going to spoil what they are, of course, because eventually we're going to, when we're done Fallout 3, we're going to do Fallout 4, of course. Um, so, uh, I did the no fast travel run. Took quite a long time. I didn't buy the house in Megaton, because again, I didn't need a house. I didn't need a home, because I wouldn't be fast traveling. I wouldn't have a home that I would be, like, I, I didn't have, like, a player base is basically what I'm saying because I was basically a drifter I guess kept going from place to place to place kind of thing um, and it was quite fun it was it was uh, it was interesting um, so yeah all right so let's continue on and dad's not even here yet that's what that is where is he so dad is oh he's near the Arlington library so yeah so Characters, when they go places and do things, um, when you fast travel, it actually takes, it's, it doesn't, um, how do I explain this? So say, <coughs> sorry about that, so say it would take uh, two in-game days to walk from here, to example, uh, to the garage. Um, when you fast travel, right, I think it probably cuts off a little bit of time. <clears throat> probably will say it probably cuts about a day off we'll say so he still had to come all the way from here to here and uh, you know so we still have to wait for him to come so I'll we'll probably wait a couple hours and he'll be here <coughs> a good example of this is uh, in New Vegas um, when you talk to um, Jack and when you're doing the boomer quest for Jack um, and you have to wait for, uh, <coughs> oh my god, sorry about the, the coughing, my throat's quite dry today and I don't know why. I do have a drink beside me, but so I don't know why it's not working. Anyway, um, when you have to wait for Jack's love interest to come, um, when you fast travel, you still have to wait a little while, uh, for her to get there, because it still takes a bit of time. Um, so let's wait an hour and see if he's here yet. Nope. As you see, the marker moved. So, oh, he has to go through the tunnels. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so let's try another hour. Nope, where is he now? What the hell is he doing over there?
No, he's over here. And now he's probably gonna come, come across here, maybe? And now he is somewhere. I have no clue. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just gonna win. I have no idea. Anyways, let's go to um, the stairwell. Yeah. So let's go to the lab here and. Uh, yeah. Talk to Dr. Lee here. And, to all right. Um, the Capital Preservation Society. So that's a really fun quest, too. I can't. That's something I can't wait to do. There's a couple of quests in this game that are actually quite fun. Good to see you. Ooh. Game kind of slowed down there a little bit. Science Lab. We're going to come down this way. Is this a science lab? Yes, it is. Let's go in. Oh, and there's Dad. Okay, cool. Yes. I told you it would work, Madison. Now I can prove it. James, you're back. And with good news. I was right about Braun and the Gek. If we can find one, we can adapt it to work with the purifiers. I'd like to believe you, James. I really would. This is all just so... so sudden. Madison, I'm telling you, this is real. I talked to Braun himself. He confirmed it. Don't you see? This is what we've been waiting for. I... I don't know, James. So many years have passed. Is it really still worth trying? How could it not be worth improving the lives of everyone in the Wasteland? What could be a more worthy endeavor? You haven't lost any of your passion, have you, James? It's as important to me as ever, Madison. I know it's important to you, too. Let's finish it together. James, I... We don't have a Gek. I can get a small team together, but we'll need proof that it works before people believe us. I know. I was thinking about that. The lab at the facility had some old pre-war computers that we scavenged. One of them might be useful. From the last reports, there's no power at the facility. Even if one of those computers had a database, we couldn't access it. That's why we're going to head over there right now and get things up and running as best we can. You know, if it were anyone else asking me to do this, I'd have them run right out of Rivet City. And you know I wouldn't be here if I didn't think this would really work. It's time, Madison. Damn you, James. When this is all over, you owe me a drink. I'll get the team together. Thank you, Madison. It's good to be working with you again. Did you need something? Yeah. We need to get back to Project Purity. The computer there is our best chance to locate a Gek. Uh, won't that be dangerous? Probably. But we have to try, don't we? It's too important for the people of the Wasteland to let fear stop us now. We need to get moving right away. Are you coming with us? Well, of course. All right, let's go right now. That's my boy. It'll be good to work side by side with you, son. Yes? Alrighty. So now we have to go to um, the, I want to say Washington Monument, but that, no, that doesn't sound right. Where is it? Uh, Jefferson Memorial. That's right. So that's why we cleared out the um, super mutants uh, on the outside. Oh, whoops, wrong one. Um, so yeah, that's why when we came to River City first, we uh, cleared our super mutants because that's what we have to do. That's one of our uh, things that we have to do. Uh, marketplace, what time is it? Uh, okay. So before we go there, we're going to buy some stuff. Good to see you. This here is Flack and Shrapnel's gun shop. Pretty catchy, huh? Take a look around. If you see anything you like, I'll be right over here. Alright, let's see here. Um, aren't you afraid someone will rob your guns? Here, in Rivet City? I'm packing, and most of the rest of these guys are packing. Not to mention security. Alright, uh, let's see here. What kind of guns you got for sale? Need to do. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Um... 
so we don't need two of these. We'll get rid of this. Um, and let's get rid of this here. Actually, not yet. I want to turn up my sound a little bit. There, it's a bit better. One, two, three, four, and five, and six. So we can get rid of some other stuff as well. Uh, Mentats, of course, we don't need those. Um, oh, look, okay, he's already out of money. Or, yeah, out of money. Um, we're going to need a lot of those. Uh, tumblers today, we'll keep that. The vodka, we will get rid of. Uh, we'll keep that. I think we're collecting pre-war money. It's been a little while since I've played this. Um, since we've been back to the house, so we're gonna keep the pre-war money. And... I think... Okay, what else? Because I know we were buying something to... Um... Oh, electron charge back. So we'll buy 100 of this. Actually, we can do 150. That's yeah, good. We'll do 200. Because the electron charge pack is going to be really useful. Um, we didn't really dabble in Gatling lasers, if I remember correctly, in the last episode. Or, sorry, I mean in New Vegas. I mean, I'm going to all over the place. Um, we'll get some Magnum ammo, too. I think we have a Magnum back at home. I can't remember. Um, I do want to, you know, get prepared and stuff. Okay, Thanks. so I think we're pretty good. So before we go to um, the memor the uh, memorial, I think we're gonna go back home. All right, so let's go and do that. Uh, where is there's Megaton right here? Because we are going to need some big guns. I'm not going to say why, but we're going to need some big guns. I don't. I think we have a minigun. Pretty sure we do. Alrighty. Um, so let's just drop all our ammo in the box here. And all of our guns. And then whatever um, extras or doubles we can sell to Moira. Um, okay, so we have about 15. Not bad. Not bad. Um, I have some stuff I don't need in here like this. I don't need this. I don't know if we need conductors. I don't need that. Um, don't need the hammer. Lunchbox. Um, so, okay, oh, whoops, I did not mean to do that, I took them all by accident, um, there you go, I can go, in that, Okay, um, so let's go drop our Nuki Coli off. Oh wait, don't I have, or did I not buy it? No, I didn't buy it yet. So there's a Nuki Cola machine you can buy and it goes up in that corner there. But we don't have it yet. Um, we've got nine, so we need 30 of these because there's a quest for that. Um, that you give someone who's addicted to Nuki Cola, it's like her most favorite thing in the world alrighty so let's take a look at what we got weapon wise here okay um we got a lot of doubles here Uh, 
Okay, let's see here. So let's see if we can fix some stuff up here. Oh, can't fix that. Okay, so I'm going to put this on down here so I don't... Okay, so that's fixed up. That's good. Okay, so it looks like the only thing um, that we need to sell is going to be that one going to the box so we can sell this one. Alright, so let's see here. So, Fat Man. Now we're not going to need Fat Man. Um, I am going to take some grenades with me. Um, how much... Uh, okay, so we'll bring that with us. Um, I'm trying to think what I'm going to need. Um, it's a launcher. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'll bring the Magnum with us because why not? I don't think I have any railway spikes. No, I don't. Okay. Um, okay, so what do I have? I got that. So I need Magnum ammo. And I need this. So I don't want all the Magnum ammo. Uh, five millimeter, I'll keep that because we can buy that. Um, so I'm not super worried about that. Um, do we have any missiles? Okay, so we got missiles. We're going to bring the missile launcher with us. And where are you? There you are, Mr. Missile Launcher. All right. Um, I think, I think we might be good to go. I, okay, I'm gonna bring the sniper with rifle with me too. Just because I like using it. Okay, so let's check to see. I'm trying to think if this is gonna be good enough. So we're gonna sell this. Um, we got all that. All right, that's good. Bring the 1500 caps with me. And then we'll just go to Moira and see what she has. We're still going to sell that assault rifle. Um, and then, uh, yeah, okay. Alright, so let's see. Huh. Um, so okay, we don't not want to do that one yet. Um, what do we have for sale? Alright. Uh, so we're going to sell that for... Okay, then now let's see what she has for ammo. Um, definitely want to buy that. Um, I'm going to buy those, that's for sure. Um, and these... And I think, how much would I have? Actually, that's not bad. Oh, wait, we're definitely going to need the right away. Okay. Hunting. Okay, so that's good. Let's go drop our money off. Huh, the railway spike is still on the wall there. Interesting. All right, uh, so let's drop this off. Okay, so we're going to drop the money off. No, nope, money. Where is money? There is money. Oh, I could have... Whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't want to keep going back and forth and back and forth. Um... Actually, you know what? I'm going to grab the shotgun. Uh, combat shotgun, where are you? Right there. I don't need all the ammo for it. Okay, and we can put the shotgun on now. Where is that? Up on the top. Alright. Okay, now we can do it. 
So they're probably already there. Yeah, they're already there now. Alrighty, so let's wait till daytime. Eight o'clock sounds good. All right, so let's talk to Dad and see what he has to say. We can't accomplish anything until we can get inside, but none of us are particularly capable fighters. I hate to ask you to put yourself in harm's way, but you seem to have learned to handle yourself. I need you to go in and make sure it's safe for Dr. Lee and her crew. Let's see, how could you ask me to do something? I'm sorry. Uh, are you kidding me? Sure thing, I'll be right back. Be careful. Alright, so now we have to go in and clear out the uh, super mutants. I can't remember if I cleaned the inside out or not. I know we did the outside. Um... Okay, so it seems like we did clean out most of it, uh, but I guess we need to... Oh, wait, what's this? Whiskey. Um, so I think it's just the rotunda we need to clean out, maybe. Let's just check this out. No, no, okay, yeah, no, this is... Yeah, so this is cleared out, because we cleared that out... Um, about two episodes ago, because last episode we started off in that room. Um, so it's the the basement um, where that is. I'm not too sure. I think basement. Yeah, right here. So this is where we need to go. So this place can be pretty dangerous. We have to be careful. Get out of here. <laughs> oh man, I love the bloody mess perk. It's awesome. Now try and hide from that. Oh. Okay, so what are we even playing on? Normal. Let's crank it up to hard. If it gets too hard, we can drop it back down. Doesn't matter. Oh, damn it. There we here. Oh, there's a brood. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Uh, do we have any... We do got grenades. Okay, good. Oh, shit. Um... Oh man, the sniper rifle's almost oh. broken. Oh. 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 oh boy. Alright, let's heal up a bit. Okay, so that was not a smart idea. Let's just use this, I guess. Stop screaming. Nice. Alrighty. Oh, there's a wrench. Is that food? No. Nope. Mr. it is food. Alrighty. Oh boy, look at the mess we made. There's some detergent. Alright, let's go. Um, I'm pretty sure there's some... Um, like, there's some tapes in here. Um, that we found from Dad before. So we have to try and... Well, we don't have to find them. They're not necessary. Um, but obviously, you'd like to... It's always good to learn more and see what he was up to while we were in the vault and stuff. Um, okay, over here? Nope. And what is this? This would be... Oh, more hollow tapes. Okay, so... Um, we'll listen to all these after. 
Oh, there's another one here. Okay, so we'll listen to these um, when we're done clearing this place up before we see Dad. Um, Someone's not happy. Oh! And he exploded. Alright, now is this all of them? Usually a thing will pop up and tell me, oh no, I think there's a guy down here. And then I think he's the last one down here. Nope, we're done. Okay, so let's listen to these uh, tapes before we do that. Okay, so we got uh, one personal. Okay, so we got one, two, three. And we've heard the other ones already. So let's listen to this. See, we can turn this up. It's a bit, a bit loud or a bit quiet. Um, turn music down a little bit. I guess we can't. Oh well. Leave it. Project Purity can and will be operational. This is just the beginning. All right. So he wants to get pro uh, Project Purity obviously back up and running. Okay. So let's listen to number two. This is day two. Of got one of the portable fusion generators up and running, but it's just enough to power the emergency lighting and a couple of other systems. Also, for now, I need help powering up the mainframe. I have to visit Madison at Rivet City. Oh, I ready. And I number three. I Dr. Lee, Madison, at Rivet City. It went about as well as I expected. That is to say, she thinks I'm completely mad. How can I blame her? She's got her own life, her own team, and is making real, tangible, scientific progress. Here I come again, the very paragon of failure and false promises. But the reality is, I need Madison and whatever scientific team she may have assembled. I can't do this myself. Project Purity is bigger than me. It always was. And without Catherine, God, I can't let this die. Not again. Not like this. Alright, so he really, really, really wants to do this project. Um, so let's listen to his personal journal. Interesting. Okay, I think there's one more. Uh, better days. Okay, let's listen to this one, and then we'll go talk to uh, Dad. That batch of tests was inconclusive, but Madison and I are convinced it's a problem with the secondary filtration system. We're going to recalibrate the equipment and try again tomorrow. So that, James, please, I'm trying to work. Now's not the time. So that's the next step. Assuming we get the results we need, we'll move on to James. <laughs> Stop! I need to finish these notes. <laughs> we'll move on to diagnosing the issues with the radiation dampeners. That should... Ow! James! Now? We really shouldn't. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> if you're wondering, that's, um, Catherine. That's your mom. Uh, that's who that was. Okay. So now let's go and, uh, find dad then we can tell him hey we cleared this place out <coughs> uh, 
<coughs> Chewy. Sorry about that. <laughs> Alrighty. Um. Okay, let's talk to him and tell him, hey, we cleaned everything up. Are you alright? Is it safe in there? Yeah, everything's dead. Everything here is dead. I'm proud of you. <laughs> now let's get in there. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you about some things. What's up? Um, with the ear, how could you leave me like that? What's going on? I wanted you to be safe. I didn't want this for you. A life out here in this godforsaken war zone. I couldn't tell you what I was doing because I didn't want you following me. A plan which clearly was not as successful as I imagined it would be. Um, I see you're why are you putting yourself at risk like this? Have you some sort of this which, Um, is this about mom? Are you trying so hard because of what happened? Oh, my son. If only you could have known how much it meant to her. She believed in the work we were doing and was so determined to see it through. She gave up so much for this project. We all did. And I don't want that to have been for nothing. I hope that you can understand why I've done the things that I've done. The last thing I want is to lose my son. Okay. Um, so what exactly is this Project Purity? It started as an idea, really. Remember the Bible passage your mother loved so much? Free, clean water for everyone. What a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here in the Wastes. Over time, that idea took the form of a purifier. Not like the one in the vault, though. This one was gigantic, capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location, right on DC's Tidal Basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. Uh, so what happened to this Project Purity? In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant's problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt. And then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came, but then I... We lost her, and I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City, and Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. Hmm. So how did Mom really die? I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years. But your mother... I've never lied to you about what happened. Not once. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time. She was so eager to meet you, to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. Well, that's what's the big deal about water anyway. And obviously we don't want to be rude, so we're no. not going to say that. So let's head inside. Yes. Alright, so let's just wait an hour. Okay, so now everyone should be where they're supposed to be. What? Good to see you. Did you need something? Alright, so let's go talk to Dad. Where is he? Over here. Okay. Here we are, where it all began. You remember your mother's favorite passage? Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Don't you see? This is what it all means. The water, the purifier. This is the water of life. Your mother's dream. No point in wasting time. Let's get to work. There's much to be done. Okay, so what do we need to do right now? The project was abandoned shortly after you were born. Things have deteriorated here since then. And there's been some flooding. I need you to get to the flood control pumps and activate them so we can clear out the water and reach the mainframe. 
Okay. The automatic doors sealed when the flooding occurred. <clears throat> so you'll have to use the access tunnels to reach the pumps. All ready to let's go. So we need to what do we need to do? Turn on Oh, it disappeared. Um turn on the flood control or something. Alrighty. Oh great. Yeah, that guy doesn't like us very much. Oh great. Listen, I know who you are, okay? As far as I'm concerned, you've got no business being here. So just stay out of my way. Uh, do you ever think this will work again? The hell do you care? You showed up here, what, five minutes ago, and now you're strutting around like you own the place? You shouldn't even be here. Why don't you go do whatever it is you're supposed to be doing and leave me alone? <laughs> Just stay out of my way, okay? Well, he's not very nice. Who are you? How's it hey there! I hear we have you to thank for getting us up and running again. Do you think this project will ever work again? I don't see why not. Between Dr. Lee and your dad, we've got the best minds on the job. They can do just about anything. Yeah, I think we'll be up and running in no time. Oh, what's your story? Who, me? Oh, nothing special. I grew up in Rivet City and was always interested in what the scientists were doing there. Dr. Lee took me under her wing and taught me everything I know. Dan and I were out in the field when we got the call to come back. Alrighty. This guy's pretty cool. He's a pretty nice guy. Okay, what's this? Uh, basement. So I think we have to go all the way down, I think. Unless I'm wrong. Oh, no, never mind. Just right here. I think. Yeah, right here. Great work on the pumps. Hurry back, and I'll give you the fuses you'll need. All right, so now I've got to go all the way back to Dad so we can get the fuses. So we can turn on some power. Hey, there's some baseball gloves and stuff here. And let's see. Oh, new guy who's in Garza. Yeah? Let's talk to this guy. Uh, what's your story? I have worked for Dr. Lee for many years. She has been good to me, helped me through some difficult times. I had little purpose in my life before she helped me. So now I help her in return. I am no scientist, but I am good with machines. Uh, do you think this project will ever work again? If Dr. Lee says it will work, then it will be so. Okay. Yes? I've been hearing good things about you. Is it true? Did you really disarm the bomb and Megaton? Yes, I did. I'm very proud of you, even though you put yourself in harm's way. Just please be careful out there. This is a dangerous world. Far more dangerous than anyone on that vault knows. Uh, you said something about uh, fuses. Right. <coughs> the flooding shorted out some of the fuse boxes downstairs, including one that controls some of the automatic doors. Here, take these fuses. The box is back down in the sub-basement near the eastern end of the level. Once the fuses are replaced, you'll be able to get to the mainframe. Alrighty, so let's go back <clears throat> and replace those fuses now. Oh, okay, good. I thought I clicked on the wrong door.
Oh, right, right, right. I think this is now when I have to go to the very basement. I, um, okay. Um, I think I'm actually supposed to go this way. Yeah, farther down in the basement, that's right. Right here. Ready, let's go. Uh, went too far. <clears throat> this way. So now I gotta go through the door that I tried to go through a few minutes ago. Then we can just sell this, so might as well grab all these things. All right, let's go. Ta-da! And there is the mainframe. Okay, what's all in here? And some noodles. That's random. Twenty-year-old noodles. <laughs> uh, where is the intercom? Oh, over here. There are a few minor repairs still to be made up here in the control room. Why don't you come back here and give me a hand? Actually, wait. There's one other thing I need you to do. Jana says there's a blockage in one of the intake pipes. It's on your way back. Head back up to the museum level and give me a call on the intercom when you get there. Okay. Easy enough. So it doesn't seem too hard. We just gotta go and clear clear a uh, pipe or something, you know, and then uh, hopefully we can get this project uh, on a go. Okay, um... Yes? Oh, there's that guy again. Hey there! Wait, who are you? Daniel, you're the guy who doesn't like me. Um... Doopa yes. doopa doopa. Alrighty. Ooh, this place looks to be in bad shape. Let's, alright, let's see here. Control pump. Alright, so let's go down here. Alright, ready. Let's see. And then, as you can see, we can see outside. Alright, uh, so this is locked. Um, what's this? Alright, control. Alright, let's do this. Did it work? What the heck? Uh oh, that's not good. Ooh, that, that doesn't look very good. The Enclave? What? What are they? Oh, that's definitely not good. We definitely have to get back up top. What the hell is the Enclave doing here? We gotta be fast. We gotta get the get back up top real fast. Uh oh, no. oh, jeez. Um. Where did he go? Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna drop this down to normal. There's no sense in, you know, having it on hard. Um. Okay, though. Um. Let's, uh. It's great. We'll use the missile launcher. Alright, let's go real quick. Drop down. Uh, run. Okay, where am I going? Uh, this way.
Alright, so he's down. Um, whoops, why am I over encumbered? Probably the... Okay, I can drop that. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, it seems like they're everywhere. Oh, shit. Ah, why wasn't that working? Um... Hopefully dad hopefully dad's okay. Um Okay. Um how do we Okay, so not the only one, or is there more? Let's just take a quick Oh, there's another one. Oh gee oh jeez, there's a whole bunch of them. Um, alright, let's just take the missile launcher out. Oh. Oh. Ah, I missed. Ah. Oh. 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 Alright, that's one down. Oh, it's right there. Oh. oh. Um. Oh. Okay, thank God. Let's just get some to eat here. Whoops. All right. All right. So let's hurry up. <coughs> all right. Hopefully he's all right. Let's let's go see real quick. By the authority of the oh president. shit. This facility is now under United States government control. The person in charge is to step forward immediately and turn over all materials related to this project. That's quite impossible. This is a private project. The Enclave has no authority here. I'm going to have to ask you to leave at once. Am I to assume, sir, that you are in charge? Yes, I'm responsible for this project. Then I repeat, sir, that you are hereby instructed to immediately hand over all materials related to the purifier. I'm sorry, but that's... Furthermore, you are to assist Enclave scientists in assuming control of the administration and operation of this facility at once. Colonel, is it Colonel? I'm sorry, but the facility is not operational. It never has been. I'm afraid you're wasting your time here. Sir, this is the last time I am going to repeat myself. Stand down at once, and turn over control of this facility. Colonel, I assure you that this facility will not function. We have never been able to successfully replicate test results. I suggest oh, shit. you comply immediately, sir, in order to prevent any more incidents. Are we clear? Yes, Colonel. I'll do whatever you want. There's no need for more violence. Then you will immediately hand over all materials related to this project aid us in making it operational at once. Very well. Give me a few moments to bring the system online. My 
that patience wears thin. It'll only be a few more moments. Run. Run! James, he's gone. We have to get out of here. They'll be coming for us next. We've got to evacuate now. James, your father caused an overload. He sacrificed himself to keep the Enclave from getting the purifier and to buy us some time to escape. There'll be more of them coming. We need to get out of here before they find us or else your father died in vain. There's nothing anyone can do for him now. The radiation levels in there are lethal. You die the same way he did. We need to get out of here now. We used an old abandoned tunnel as an escape route once before, many years ago. Everyone should know how to find it. We need to get there right now. Let's go. Well, I guess we have to escape. to escape while we can well I guess we have to talk to her don't wander off we're going to need you this tunnel leads to the Citadel the Brotherhood of Steel's fortress we should be safe there if we can make it um, what's up ahead you seem nervous I don't know what's ahead that's the problem no one has used these tunnels in years but we can't stay put the Enclave will find us eventually we have to get moving uh, do you have a plan? We need to keep everyone together, and we need to get through this tunnel as quickly as possible. We're not safe until we reach the other side. You should stay close, and we'll follow behind you. All right, let's go. We'll be right. All right, so let's avenge Dad. Let's get out of here, and uh, take out as many enclave as we can. I think we gotta go this way. Nope, wrong way. I think we got them. Oh shit. Um I'm out of here. Alright, so she's working on the computer. Hopefully she can do that soon. Oh, and it broke. I kind of figured it was going to break, to be honest. Um, let's just drop it. It's way too expensive to fix it. Oh, she opened it. Okay, good. Are you not coming? Oh, looks like there's ghouls down here. That's always fun. Oh, 
Oh, really? For some reason, they're just not dying. Where is my minigun? Didn't I bring it? Did I not bring it? If I could, I'll get to use this then. Oh shit. Oh, Jesus. No. There we go. What? Oh, shit. No, not this guy. This, there we go. Awesome. Okay, let's go. Is that all of them? I think it's to be all of them. Alright, the Taft Tunnel. I gotta turn my sensitivity up. I turned it down a bit too low. There we go. Alright, um. We can't go any further. We need to stop. Why would we stop now? Garza has a heart condition. He needs medicine or he may not make it. I'm not moving until he gets the medicine he needs. Uh, what can I do to help? I don't have sufficient medical supplies with me, or else this wouldn't be a problem. If you have any stim packs, I would ask that you hand them over. Maybe we should just leave them behind. No, I'm not going to do that. Even though my speech is 100% and I could do that. Uh, here, take some stim packs. That should help. Yes, this looks to be enough. He'll need medical attention once we've reached the Citadel, but this will get him there. Thank you. Give me a moment, and we can continue. Alrighty. Oh, jeez. Oh, they got plasma guns. Well, that guy's using a Hellfire armor. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um, I got laser ammo, but I don't know if that's going to be good enough. Yeah, because that Hellfire armor is pretty strong. It's one of the strongest armors in the game, to be totally honest. Uh, we'll take my axe. You're addicted to medics, that's whatever. You can see what I mean. Um, this guy just, boom, dead just like that. Oh, I'm still alive. No, now he's dead. Where is the other guy? Oh, jeez. Um, do I have... Okay, the Magnum. It's so hard to aim with this thing. Oh, thank god, there we go. I bought helmet. Whoops. Okay. Uh, so where are they? Are they coming along or what's going on? I cannot wait when enemies are nearby. Okay. Oh, jeez. That's not good. Oh, oh god. Alright, that's one. Um, um, oh shit. Oh, oh, we fell down. Oh, he's one of the harder ones. Uh, shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. Okay. <gasps> Okay, um, let's just wait. Hopefully they'll show up. Are they even coming, or are they, like, 
way back there still. Who the hell are you? Dog meat? What the fuck? What the hell is dog meat doing here? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I have... I am so confused. Um... Well, obviously, come with me. What the hell are you... What the hell are you doing here, dog meat? What the fuck? Um... Yeah, obviously, I'm not going to leave him down here, but I don't know how that... I am confused as hell. Okay, let's go. That is honestly the strangest thing that has ever happened to be in this game. I can honestly say that. Um, that's new. Um, okay. Um, I mean, maybe he felt bad for me and he noticed something was wrong because of what happened to dad and he decided to show up or something. I don't even know. That's so strange. I don't even know. Yeah, you get him, dog meat. Beat his ass. Awesome. Oh, shit. Nice. Oh! <laughs> I love when they blow up like that. That never gets old. Um, holy shit, it actually worked for once. Uh, not that way. Not that way. Okay, what is, what's in here? Locked hard. Okay, that doesn't matter. Alright, let's go. Okay, so what if I wait? You cannot wait when enemies are nearby. Oh, apparently the Brotherhood is here. Alright, so they're fighting a bunch of ghouls. Holy shit. <laughs> a lot of guys, a lot of things going on. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, so can we wait now? Okay, let's just wait a few hours, see if they even show up. Okay, sometimes there's a bug um, where they don't show up. Um, I'm hoping that's not going to happen now. If that happened, that's one of the problems that I've had with Follow 3. So I'm going to save this right here. Because um, sometimes when I go up uh, the ladder, sometimes she'll show up, sometimes they won't. It's It's really weird. Okay, so let's try this. Oh, thank God. So, oh, they're all alive. Sweet. Okay, so I'm going to wait till daytime. Again, because it's kind of dark, so. Alright, so where is there's dog meat right there? One way to get the door open. <laughs> oh boy. It's still so weird that he is here with us. Alrighty. So I'm gonna, yeah, level up. Um. What do I want to do? I want to pump more uh, points into energy. 
Um, my science is pretty okay. It's a 50. Log pick is 50. Pretty okay. Small gun is, eh, it's alright. Uh, my sneak. Uh, we'll put, yeah, that's what we'll do. And then next time when we level up, maybe we'll put some into, uh, small guns. Um, because energy weapons is kind of what I'm aiming for for this playthrough. Um, because once you get, like, high, like, when you get your energy skill all the way up to 100, and you start using, like, plasma and laser and all that stuff like that, you, it's, you're pretty powerful. Um, let's see what we got here. Um, animal friend. Um, at the first rank, animals simply won't attack you. At the second rank, they will actually come to your aid, but never against another animal. This affects... Uh, the dogs, the Yagwais, mole rats, and Brahmin. Let's take that. Now we never ever have to worry about uh, those giant bears, the Yagwais, attacking us ever again. Thank God. Okay, let's go. Honor us with your presence here. Madison, I'm surprised to see you here. What can I do for you? Don't talk down to me, Lions. I had nowhere else to turn. You must help us. Project Purity has been overrun. Yes, I'd heard reports of an incident there. What details can you give us? The Enclave. They've attacked Project Purity. James is dead. There may be more. I don't know. You have to do something. Then it's as we feared. Madison, I'm sorry this happened. I wish we could have done something. Then do something now. They've taken over the purifier. Lions, they cannot be permitted to have control over it. It's not right. No, no, no. Calm down. You know as well as I do that the purifier doesn't work. It's useless to them. Perhaps it's time to walk away. That's not true. James, he found what's been missing. We know how to get it running. Is that so? Does the Enclave know this? No, I don't think... I don't know. I, d I just don't know what's happening anymore. All right, Madison, it'll be okay. Now, this is James's son, I presume? I can see the resemblance. Yes, he knows what we need. vault Tech computer, something to locate equipment. Please help him. Very well, we'll sort this all out. Hail. I need to rest, lie down, or something. This is just too much. Rothschild should help you, but don't forget that he's Brotherhood. I've never trusted them. Be careful what you tell them. You have my condolences. Your father was a good man. I found a Brotherhood hollow tag. Uh, what should I do with it? Talk to Scribe Jameson. She is our keeper of the scroll. She will want to know what you have found. Where can I find this described Jameson? She spends most of her time in the archives. You'll find them in A-Ring, near the Great Hall. Uh, what do you know about the Enclave? More than anyone else, I dare say. Certainly enough to know they're the greatest threat the Capital Wasteland has ever faced. The Brotherhood of Steel has encountered the Enclave before, you see. Over 30 years ago, back in California. Then they were led by a President Richardson. Now we've got this Eden to contend with. It matters not now, as before, they seek to control and destroy. All in the guise of restoring order. Your father, I fear, was just the beginning. Um, let's see here. Can someone train me to use power armor? Why, yes. Yes, indeed, there is someone. Our intrepid Paladin Gunny trains all initiates in the use of power armor. When they're ready. Under the circumstances, I will allow Gunny to train you as well. You'll find him in the Bailey. I will send word that I've given my approval. Um, anything you can tell me about Super Mutants? Would you believe no? It's pathetic, really, considering we've been fighting those abominations for nearly 20 years. 
In all that time, all we've managed to do is to contain the threat, hold them back so they don't overrun every blasted settlement out here. But we don't really know anything. Where they're from, why they've infested the DC ruins. And now here we are, holed up in our citadel. Low on resources, low on troops. It's enough to make an old man so very tired. Um, I'd like to know more about the Brotherhood of Steel. The Brotherhood is an old organization going back to the years just after the war. We are but a part of it. What would you like to know? If you're just a part of the Brotherhood, where's the rest of it? The Brotherhood began on the West Coast. It exists there still. We were dispatched to this location many years ago. In truth, the Brotherhood of Steel has been struggling for years, both here and back home. Honor, truth, courage. These virtues seem to have little meaning in these troubled times, I'm afraid. Uh, so why are you way out here in the capital wasteland, then? Ah, no. That's the real question, isn't it? Our orders were, and are, to acquire any and all advanced technology and we have to the best of our abilities but when i realized the extent of the super mutant threat i felt it was my responsibility to aid the people in their struggle against them unfortunately my superiors back west disagree with my assessment of the situation they feel i've grown too attached to the local populace and they're right in any event, the Enclave's arrival changes everything. So how long have you been here for? It's been over 20 years since we arrived, and we've been struggling to contain and eradicate the super mutants for nearly as long. With the arrival of the Enclave, I have a terrible feeling the super mutants are the least of our worries. Alright, that's all I wanted to know. Alright, um, alright, I have to go now. Hail. Alright, well then, that was, uh, this is quite an episode, that's, that's for sure. Um, but I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna find a bench, we're gonna sit down. Actually, I'm gonna take dog meat back home, that's one thing I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, so let's take dog meat back home. Cause that was very strange, and I still don't understand why he, uh, I don't know. I wish there were oh. more people. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, what was that? What was that that just popped up? Vault 101 Emergency Frequency. Ooh, interesting. Looks like we're going to have to check that out in the next episode. Let's take dog meat home. I know I said this a bunch of times already, but I have no idea. I've never had that happen before. How may I serve you, Master? Let's uh let's see here. Uh do, 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 do. stay here. Basically, yeah, just stay here. Don't don't go anywhere. <laughs> oh boy, that's weird. Um Alright, let's drop our do we not have any money? I'm pretty sure I picked up caps, did I not? Yeah, twenty three caps. Alright, um, so what we're going to do is we are going to sit here. We're going to save this up here. And, um, all right, let's end this episode. I know this wasn't the most happiest and most, um, you know, fun-filled episode. I know it was kind of a down, kind of a little, a little bit sad, um, but... You know, things get better. They do. Um, things get more interesting. And uh, I, I really don't know what else to say. Um, it was very, very weird that dog meat showed up. Uh, the tunnels have never had that happen before. So uh, that's something new to happen to me. Um, 
But hey, at least we got to see dog meat. That's one good thing. That's one good thing we can pull out of uh, this episode. We got to see dog meat. He killed some mute, uh, some uh, feral ghouls for us, um, and then we got to bring him home. So that was good. Um, so, like I said, I'm gonna leave this episode here. If you did like this episode, if you like this series, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all of that fun kind of stuff. And I will see you in the next episode of Fallout Three, very very soon. Until then, have a good day.